Lucia the Luchadora. Lucia proves that you can be and do anything you want to be. But to be a luchadora, you must fight for what is just and right. Lucia the Luchadora, written by Cynthia Leonor Garza and illustrated by Alisa Bermudez. I zip through the playground in my red cape. I go pow, I go bam. The boys zoom by with their own capes fluttering behind them. They go boom, they go crash. The boys try to jump off the monkey bars, but no one can do a high flying leap from the top like I can. I dive, I spin, I nail my landing every single time. I dash up the dark swirly slide that no one dares goes near, but the boys pay no attention to me. They dart off when I try to play with them. Mighty Mick yells out to me, girls can't be superheroes. Ninja Nick, his twin adds, girls are just made of sugar and spice and everything nice. I don't feel very nice and sweet at the moment. I feel mad. I feel spicy mad. I feel kapow kind of mad. Abuela watches me from a nearby bench. When I flop down next to her, Abue leans over and whispers a secret. We hatch a plan. That night, Abue gives me an old box. There's a shiny satin cape in sight and a very special silver mask. Awe tells me that when she was a little girl, she was a special kind of superhero, a luchadora. I don't know what a luchadora is. Awe tells me a luchadora is more than a masked wrestler with swift moves more than just a superhero with slick style. A luchadora is agile. She moves and thinks quickly. A luchadora has moxie. She is brave and full of heart and isn't afraid to fight for what is right. Most importantly, a luchadora never reveals her true identity. Agua tells me the greatest luchador of all time, El Santo, wore a silver mask too and never, ever took it off. I slip the silver mask over my head and when I look at myself in the mirror, I feel the bolt run through me. With that mask, you can become anything you dream of being, Agua says. On the playground the next day, the boys zoom by in their capes. They go wham, they go whop. I charge through the crowd, my new silver and white cape, a blinding flash behind me. I catch everyone's eyes. Everyone wants to know who is wearing the silver mask. I am a luchadora with a secret identity. With my silver mask, I can become anything I dream of being. I stand on the top of the monkey bars, ready to do my high flying leap. I dive, I spin, I nail my landing, like always. This time, everyone notices. The crowd goes wild, the boys go boom. They try to crash into me, but I'm lightning fast and no one can catch me. No one can know. No one can wow like I can. I am the best kind of superhero. I am Lucia, the luchadora. Before long, I see lots of other Lucha Libre masks on the playground. One day, I spot a crusader in a pink mask with a red glittery hearts. A girl, another luchadora. I can't wait to play with the new pink crusader. But before I can run over, 
I hear something familiar. Girls can't be superheroes. Girls are just made of sugar and spice and everything nice. I feel spicy again. Spicy mad. Kapow kind of mad. Just then, the dark swirly slide goes clang. Everyone stops and stares. Bang, jangle, scratch. Everyone shrinks, but I move closer. I hear a yeep and a yelp and a beep that sounds like help. I feel the tick tock in my chest, but I don't flinch. I dash through the crowd and up the ladder. Whee! Moments later, I swoop down the slide with little Coco in my lap. Bravo! Everyone cheers. My heart swells. But then, I spot the pink crusader in the crowd. Why does she look so sad? I remember Abwe's words. A real luchadora must fight for what is right. My heart doesn't feel happy and full anymore. I know what I have to do. I pull off my mask. Zap! Everyone is thunderstruck and my true identity is revealed. I am no longer a luchadora. Then something unexpected happens. Clap, clap, clap. Everyone starts to clap. Then something spectacular happens. Luchadoras everywhere, hidden in plain sight. Little Coco jumps off my lap and races through the crowd. I bolt after him in a flash, and all the boys and girls start to chase me. But I'm lightning fast, and no one can catch me. No one is as dazzling or daring as I am. I climb up the monkey bars, I dive, I spin, and when I strike the ground, a charge runs through the crowd. I am still the best kind of superhero. I am Lucia. The luchadora mask or no mask. Y colorín colorado, este cuento se ha acabado. And now, some information about Lucha Libre. Luchadores are the larger than life stars of the world of Lucha Libre. The acrobatic and theatrical style of wrestling popularized in Mexico. Many wear masks to help conceal their true identities although they can be unmasked by their opponent if they lose a match. Luchadores fall into two camps, the heroes and the villains, or técnicos and rudos, and fight as individuals or in teams in the ring. Often, lucha matches follow lively storylines filled with twists and turns, but the stories of good versus evil don't end in the ring. The adventures of some of the most popular luchadores have leaped beyond the ring and into comic books, films, and even the streets where luchadores have transformed themselves into real-life masked heroes, fighting for social justice. Luchadores have fought and advocated for many causes, including animals, the environment, and the rights of poor people, children, women, and those living in substandard housing. On the flip side, women have fought long and are still fighting for their place in the wrestling ring in the largely male-dominated sport. Over the past few decades, Many fierce luchadoras have paved a dazzling path into the world of Lucha Libre and have claimed their spots among the stars. A great project for you to do following this book is to do some research. Find out what would you like to know more about Lucha Libre in the luchadores and luchadoras. How have luchadores fought for social justice? Create a report and share it with us online. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and tag us with at Bio Pico Palomas. Thank you.